alcohol, tobacco, firearms. We have a bureau for all three. We also have high taxes on all three, and we classify them, many of us do, as sin taxes. Are they moral? I contend no. I'd like to examine the three reasons behind taxing some things more highly than the rest. None of them are compelling. Number one, to curb danger. What you're doing if you're drinking is so dangerous that we want to discourage it. Folks, if it's so dangerous, it's the state's responsibility to eliminate it. Danger to other people, certainly, maybe even if it's a danger to yourself. Now, I don't believe that alcohol is an inherent danger. I don't think any substance is, okay? It's what the human brain chooses to do or not do with it. So curbing danger does not wash. The second reason, reforming somebody's habits. Well, if we tax you more, you won't do this vile thing. Well, some people still will. They're the people that we call addicts. No matter how much you add to their charge for smoking, they pay it anyway. So what you end up doing is taxing people who are addicted and often on the poorer side. These are regressive taxes. The final reason, easy revenue. And I'm not sure that that's the right kind of revenue. Yes, when you tax people who are addicted, you get the money. When you tax people who don't have a lobby to protest, you know, the tobacco lobby does exist, but they don't care that much about the taxes because they know they have addicted people. So when you tax when there's no guff, it is what's called easy revenue. You want to try hard revenue? Tax milk, which everybody wants to buy. Put an excess tax on that, you got a political problem. So it doesn't happen. And it exemplifies why sin taxes are there, in part because they're politically easy. Sin taxes are actually worse than taxing the rich. And the reason is the legislators who vote to tax the rich actually might become rich someday. So they are maybe in the same stream that they'll kind of penalize themselves. When you say tax those users of a substance that you never do, you're not ever taxing yourself. You're not a smoking addict. You're not an alcohol buyer. And so when you put the tax on other people, I think that's immoral. You are, with a sin tax, taxing the poor. You're taxing the addicted. And you're doing it because it's an activity that you don't like. Government should not be picking activities that some people like and others think are unseemly. Tax evenly across the board. Now, if there really was some activity that the state is doing with funds from the tax that they're imposing for those people, then I have a better warmth. But we don't do that. We're not taxing alcohol more highly than orange juice to have a program for alcoholics. It's going into general fund. So once again, because some people don't like alcohol and do like orange juice is not a reason to penalize those who do want to spend money on alcohol instead of orange juice.